Good morning friends, welcome to the Mining Studies channel. In our previous video, we are discussing about the open cast mine method. In this video, we are clarifying and discussing about the process of underground mining method. So let's get started. In the field of mining extractions, some cases where go through the open cast mine method and some cases where go through the underground mine method. So in which case and why we are prov choose these methods so let's some figure out it is the mineral in the earth crust and it's a surface of the earth our the pro two processes one is the open crust and the underground it's depend upon the these two things one is the depth another one is the thickness of the seam how much and the what amount of minerals or the coal or metal are stored in our earth crust if the depth is very much high it's minimum about 400 or the maximum out of 800 meter in the depth um, from the earth crust then we are go through the underground mining methods and also in some cases the seams are be thick and the seams are sometimes it be a inclined way because of the tectonic plates of the earth we are know that there are seven tectonic plates which are always be changes their position for that reasons fault and folds are created in the geological section we are cover this part so now here the these are the two minerals in some the depth of the depth of the mineral we are provide a shaft in which we reach at the seam and in the inclined place we have to be go through an inclined path from the surface to the seam in these two method we are to reach at the underground minerals then comes to the open cast method when the minerals is at the depth of about 200 to 100 meter at that cases we have to remove the all of the ob over the minerals then we are able to extract these minerals and it must be economical but in the underground or the highest depth first we have to be remove the all of the overburden it make too much of time it may not be economical value it means if we are spend our cost to removing the ob and there is the some or minimal amount of minerals are deposited in, in the ground that it is not be economical and not give a proper economic value to our country so that was for that case and that region we are obtaining our methods of underground and open cast coal mining so come to the underground coal mining method start chapters so these are the basically a and b part in the a part we are discussing about the method of underground coal mining and this part is for the basically about metal mining so in coal mining we are discuss about and discussing about the underground coal mining method and then bore and pillar method this is the method of extraction of the coal then one is the long wall mining method and the thick seam mining and thick then we come to the horizon mining about hydraulic and pneumatic stowing support roof control in the mine machineries are used in underground mining so basically this part cover the development process of an underground mine coal mines ke andar kaise hum ek development karte hain why we deciding we are we have to be being the path of shaft or maybe inclined and the various developmenting areas is criteria is are discussing by the underground coal mining method then comes to the board and pillar method board and pillar and the long wall mining are the two methods by which we extracting our coal from the earth crust and this one is the thing sing mining the just those those themes are very much highly thick and the horizon mining and this part of the hydraulic and pneumatic stowing in the some cities our the underground mines are under the some cities and townships 
or the shopping malls in that area at the time we have to provide the stowing processes because we have to be safe that land from the collapse to eradicate the collapse of the problem we have to go through the nematic stowing and hydraulic stowing in this process we have to fill the goat area by sand or water or any of the ob controlled which are extracted from the open cast mine we have to pack them for the safe from the collapse of the cities and malls which are over on the surface then comes to the machinery used in underground mining in the extraction process there are several machines are used to extract the coal from the underground and the board and pillar method is a basically are used in indian mining in the indian coal field the board and pillar method are highly used then comes to the part of method of metal in the path of metal of method of metal i discuss about the development of process and a cassat comparative studies between the coal mining and the metal mining method in this in this chapter we discussing about the what are the difference and what are the similarity between this method between this coal and the metal then where comes to the stopping method stopping method and drifting method then the rock thrust and the phase mechanization now this phase mechanization part basic the machineries which are used in the for the purpose of underground metal mining so this is all about our underground method mining method this is all for today bye bye take care